Welcome back to the 76 Capital Sports Leadership Show. My name is Wayne Kimmel, Managing Partner of 76 Capital, the sports tech venture capital company. And on this show, I get the opportunity to interview top sports entrepreneurs, executives, and athletes who are shaping and many times changing the overall sports business industry. You can subscribe to our show on YouTube, on Apple Podcasts, Spotify, and on our 76 Capital website, we love to have all of you as subscribers to catch all the great shows that we do here on our 76 Capital Sports Leadership Show. And today, my guest, I'm really excited to welcome back to our show is Corby Carrison. Corby is the event vice president for G2E at RX USA. Corby, welcome back to our 76 Capital Sports Leadership Show. Thank you, Wayne. It's really great to be back. So excited to be back. I can't believe we're back at the, this time of year where G2E is right right in front of us. Here we are, you know, for the biggest gaming show um, in the world in Las Vegas. And, you know, what's really exciting that's going to happen this year at G2E? Well, you're right, Wayne. We are just a matter of days away. We are counting days. And for those who aren't familiar, G2E takes place at the Venetian Expo, and it will be October 7th through the 10th this year. We are so excited to welcome everyone who participates in the gaming ecosystem, whether that's within the sports business or iGaming or core gaming. But we're really excited to invite everyone back to Las Vegas and participating in some great networking and just getting good business done at G2E. We have a lot in store for you. We have a great education program that is being finished up right now. And of course, there's the expo hall that everyone is always very excited about. Lots to see, a lot of people to meet, and just good business to happen this October in G2E. I mean, every year, it's the place to be. It's the place to network. It's where you see you know, everybody from all over the world, from the gaming industry, as you said, from gaming to sports to, I mean, just people are there, they're, they're excited. Um, everyone wants to network and, and just, just talk with each other. And, and it's, it's, it's amazing. And, and you get to see all these new things. So, you know, what are some of the new things that we're going to see this year? Well, I, I can't spoil surprises for those exhibitors who are introducing new products, and there sure are, are plenty of those. But some new things that you will see at G2E in the Expo Hall, you'll see uh, the, the next rendition of our iGaming Zone. So this is an area we organized last year. So those who are interested in, let's say, online sports betting or online casino, rather than searching all over the expo hall to find that company that you want to do business with they're all together in the iGaming zone that area will be absolutely unmissable i promise you so you're you're sure to make good connections in that area one other new thing that we have for this year that i think will be very useful to those visiting g2e the attendees is a new lead capturing system. So we're we're used to going to trade shows and getting your badge scanned at a booth. Mm -hmm. This is a method of information gathering that really puts the attendee in control. And the attendee is the one who scans booth. So like, let's say that you're walking around and maybe the, the booth that you're interested in um, is, is super busy, or you maybe just don't wanna engage with a person at that moment. Within the G2E app, you can download this ability to scan to collect your own leads. So that's another something that's really different. And we find it um, will be really useful for our attendees this year at G2E. Well, th that's a really great thing. And because a lot of times you're you're going up and down the row real quick and you're trying to get to somewhere and then you see something and you try to remember like to come back to it. And you may right. not do, but if you can now scan it real quick and that's mm -hmm. great. That's really, you don't exciting. have to carry paper around either. I like that. I mean, look, yeah. that, we used to carry around the books and all that stuff, but now, now it's, now it's all in the app. That's amazing. That's, that's right. amazing. Yep. You know, one of the things that I think it was, is, is, you know, we think about, you know, we, we talked earlier about, you know, the different kinds of people that, that are coming to G2E. And I talked about the sports industry and the gaming industry and, 
you know, over the last couple of years, it was really amazing to see a couple of years ago when it was, when you had, it was, I think it was one of the big exhibitors, Aristocrat was one of your big exhibitors who, who was sort of showing a little bit of what the future was going to look like with a slot machine with the NFL and the NFLPA. And then that was two years ago. And then last year, they were out there on the floor and you had the opportunity to actually really see what was what was happening and play them. I mean, it was it, it's incredible to see the new ways and the new types of collaborations that were going on. And I hope we get to see some of that cool stuff, you know, some of those things again this year. That's a guarantee. I mean, we we go to casinos, we go to sports books, we go to all of these entertainment venues and we see what's available now. And you will see that at G2E, but you will also see what is coming, whether it's three, six, 12 months from now, you will gain that exposure to the newest technology, the newest solutions. And that's also one, one of the core corner uh, stones of our education program. It's not just what's available for you now, it's discussions on, hey, here's where the future is going. And we we have to con steer our content for G2E toward where the future is going. Well, that was exactly where I wanted to go. I actually wanted to talk about education and and wanted to hear, you know, maybe there's a, I keep asking you, Corby, I'm hoping to get the inside, you know, inside look here. Like what's, what's going to be on, what's on the schedule this year? Are, are some new things or exciting things that are going to be happening on the education side? Well, we did take great care this year again in building our education program. And that starts with the industry weighing in on what they want to see in the program. So we did open up once again this year, a call for content that was way earlier in, in this year. We collected a, hundreds of responses of what members of the, the gaming industry thought that were important issues to talk about at G2E. So it was very difficult to narrow that down to about a hundred sessions that we're going to have for uh, for people to see at G2E. So certainly the call for content is really important in this process. Also important in this process is the engagement of our education advisory board. They really help us uh, take that take those ideas and get them honed in to uh, something that is presentable and will really be well received by the audience. So just to dig in a little bit on, on the programming, we have 20 different sessions this year that evolve around sports betting. So more than ever, and they, they've been very popular sessions in the past. We really had to take a look at what's happening and, and really dial into what do people want to learn and who do people want to connect with? That's what those 20 sessions are made up of in the sports betting sector. But it's also really exciting seeing where sports betting, for example, intersects with other areas. For example, DE&I, just in inclusion and having different voices in the industry. We have a session that focuses on women in sports betting. And as you know, that's a hot topic betting on women's sports and the accessibility and comfort of women betting on sports. So it's sessions like that, that are very forward thinking that we think a lot of the industry will enjoy. Wow. That's amazing. I mean, look, I, I remember the, the first G2E when, when sports, you know, right after PASPA was overturned and, you know, we were looking at an industry that had, you know, under $10 billion bet, and this year, we're looking at over $150 billion bet on the sports industry. And it's just amazing to see where things have gone and from an industry perspective. But always, as you said, G2E is always a step a step ahead of like where it's all going. And, and it, you get sort of a really great look into the future and a preview of, of, of what's next by, by, by going to Vegas and going out to mm -hmm. G2E. And it's, it's certainly the, the place to be. Totally agree with you on, on that. Um, you know, I think, you know, we talk about sort of the the industry and it's it's constantly evolving. And so how do you, you know, as the you know, event vi vice president of G2E, how do you stay ahead of of the trends, especially with, with you know, with all the new things that are happening with iGaming and, and, and as well as sports betting? Well, the number one thing that I do is stay in very close communication with 
our business partner, and that's the American Gaming Association. AGA and RX are joint venture partners in G2E, so we are talking all the time about what's new, what's happening, what's important, and it's it's through that constant communication that Personally, I and, and everybody who works on G2E keeps up to date on what's happening in the gaming industry. So invaluable relationship there. And a- along with that, tapping into our networks and ensuring that we're connecting with the right people. And certainly that call for content is really critical in that process, too. Uh, I, I completely agree with you on that. I mean, and, and I guess that's that, that it's sort of the way that you're able to, you know, not only hear everything that's happening but then how do you you know it it must be tough i mean a lot of people want to um, speak at g2e they want to be involved like how do you ensure all the voices from across the industry are actually being heard and then they get their opportunity to actually be part of g2e in, in a very important way well you're right there are a lot of people who do want to come and share their knowledge at g2e I think the best tool that we use to ensure that there's a a wide variety of viewpoints heard is to pay special attention to diversity, equity, and inclusion, and really, really source speakers that come from perhaps not uh, mainstream gaming, maybe maybe, uh, an adjacent industry, or certainly people with diverse backgrounds coming from different places. That really helps us get a a wide variety of voices at G2E and ensure diversity among uh, thought leadership. Well, I'm really excited to ask you this next question because I I would, you know, I guess we're getting a little older, so maybe it would be, I'd answer this a little differently, but, you know, um, what advice would you give to first time attendees who are going to G2E and many, and some people, this could be their first time going to Las Vegas. So what, what, what advice do you, would you give to people? There's a lot that I could say there, but I think the first thing I would do would be to point you at our website, globalgamingexpo.com, because we actually have engaged with a lot of, I'll say veteran G2E attendees And we ask them that very question. And then we put together a guide that serves as as a a map for first timers coming to G2E. In fact, there's there's going to be a a little meetup for those folks happening on the Monday before the expo hall opens. But certainly go to globalgamingexpo.com under experiences and you'll see G2E guides there. There's a first timers guide and I would recommend Maybe even you're not a first timer, go go check it out. You'll see advice on everything that you would expect, like wear, wear comfortable shoes. But one that really stood out to me when we were having some conversations was, if you're coming from elsewhere in, in the US or elsewhere around the world, make sure that your calendar is synced with Las Vegas time zone. So you get to your meetings or your events on time. Sometimes that sync doesn't happen and you might miss something that's really important, like a networking event or a chance to connect with somebody. So lots of advice there. Go check out the the first timers guide. Yeah, absolutely. I mean, if you don't mind, I would add in a couple more things. I would say that, you know what? People are really friendly and you get these great name badges and just to even just see if you see a name badge or you see someone that you're like from a certain company or you just want to introduce yourself to pretty much anybody. People are really friendly. They're there to talk and meet and network and, and do business. And it's, it's, it's a, it's just great. I mean, I, I've, I've always find the opportunity, you know, just being able to just go over to someone and say hello and, 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 and you never know, I mean, you never know how business will, what, what that'll turn into. That's right. I mean, you you go to a lot of different events in the in the ecosystem and you learn familiar faces. This could be the event, like you said, where you just uh, randomly or happenstance meet somebody that you're familiar with and you finally learn their name and what they do. And you never know that could be the business deal that makes your year. Absolutely. I mean, and looking on the way to the to the the floor to to see everything. There's always a huge crowd of people at that Starbucks. I hope they're like a sponsor or something, Corby. I mean, like, <laughs> my gosh. 
that, that Starbucks is an unbelievable, the people that are in there. I mean, sometimes it's hard to get down to the floor as, as there's just so many interesting people to talk to that are, that are right there. But right. Um, it, it's, it's, it's amazing. It really is amazing to see what, what's good, what, what's happening. And, you know, if you were, if you want to showcase or exhibit right now, like mm -hmm. put an exhibit out and, and, you know, do you have something that you want to, is it, is it too late or could someone reach out to you or your team to do something? It's not too late, but we are running short on time and space is limited. So if you or a company that you know might be interested in participating in G2E, whether it's getting a booth in the expo hall or participating in some other way, we'd love to talk to you. Just uh, reach out to us at globalgamingexpo.com or reach out to me and I'm happy to make a connection. But it's not too late, but the time is ticking. Yeah, we're getting close. We're getting really close. I'm, I'm, I'm really excited. I uh, can't wait to see you out there. And so if you, if you haven't, if you're going or you're now going to make some plans and I, I'm telling you, I'm looking out to everybody, like this is the event to go to, you, you know, it, there's no doubt about it. This is, if you want to meet the people, the movers and shakers across the gaming industry, this is the place, this is the event to go to. How, do, how, so, how can people register? Right on our website, Wayne, you just go to globalgamingexpo.com and click register. You can register right in there. However, I would love to share with you and have you share out to your audience a special link that will provide a free expo hall pass as long as you use the use the link or use the code. And we would love to welcome your audience to G2E Expo Hall for free. Oh, wow. Well, thank you so much. And we're going to share uh, the link. We'll share the code. We'll put that out there. And, and there's your opportunity to get an opportunity to walk the floor, go and do all this networking for free at G2E. All you need is just a quick plane ticket, you know, out to Vegas and, that's, and, and, you, and you're set. You're set. Well, maybe you should also get the place to stay. And that's part <laughs> of my other, I would say to first timers, you should sleep. Definitely get sleep. Um, don't stay up all night because typically the and 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 I know you didn't you didn't you didn't give us give us the the names of some of the really great keynotes and all the exciting exciting things there. But I know they're they're coming they're they're coming and you always like to keep that you know tight to the vest. But the, if you you want to be there in the morning, you want to be there for the the keynote addresses. There's always news that's being broken at those events. You'll get the the top people in the industry. You'll hear from them. Um, you'll get a chance to even talk with many of them because everyone's walking around um, during the show the rest of the day. So it's a great opportunity. So, you know, you stay out late enough, but get a little bit of sleep and get back there next to the next thing in the morning. So, um, Corby, is there anything else you'd like to share with us about, about G2E this year? It's just, it, it really is the opportunity of the year. Everything is under one roof. You will meet people that you never imagined that you can do business with. All it takes is that one encounter to make the deal that's going to change the trajectory of your business. So register today, globalgamingexpo.com. And we really look forward to seeing you there. Well, I can't wait. It's going to be so much fun. We're going to get to do two episodes of our 76 Capital Sports Leadership Show on the floor. Uh, during G2E. So if if you're there, which I hope all of you are, please come out and say hello to us. We've got some really great guests we'll have on our show. And um, you'll, you'll see Corby running around with her team, making sure that everything's going right. And uh, it's it, I, I wish you a lot of luck again this year. Can't wait to see you out there. And uh, again, thank you so much for joining us on our 76 Capital Sports Leadership Show. Thank you. We'll see you soon.